stalkers. I'm gonna go ahead and start this vlog with me on the road to Nashville. Well, I'm heading toward Nashville, a little in the south. Folks, I gotta say something. When I arrived into Tennessee, I kind of got a little concerned because uh, the friction y'all seen that I caught for the way I parked in the rest area. And, uh, you know, it's weird how that happened because as soon as I posted the video of what happened to me at the rest area and me having to leave, Woody called me on the phone. It's 2.35, almost 3 o'clock in the morning. He had no clue what had just happened. That's what's wild about this whole situation. He literally called me out of the blue and gave me his address. I was an hour and 10 minutes away from him. And shit, he stayed on the phone with me most of the time as I'm driving to go meet up with him. It's crazy. Like I said, he didn't even know what had happened. But I tell you what, him coming through, ladies and gentlemen, there's two days off my schedule. But you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna say one word because Woody grabbed me and in the last 30 hours we did 48 hours worth of non-stop fun and work on the van. Ladies and gentlemen, I got my solar system worked out where my batteries are actually charging, charging. Woody allowed me to go through his junk and all his collectibles that he's had over the years. And I found an old welding lead that I recycled into battery cables from a solar panel setup. When I got up this morning, I was right at 15.1 volts on my system. I've never had that happen. It's never been that high, so. Woody was able to help me out and give me the little 12 volt cooler which it'll get down to 43 degrees cold in that little thing and i can run it all day and all night on the solar panels and i'll be able to keep some a one pound of meat hot dogs cheese i'll be able to keep shit from spoiling when i'm out here in the mountains for two weeks at a time so again if y'all are watching this vlog, and y'all get on Facebook, holler at Woody. There's only one Woody in my friends list. And I tell you what, give that man some credit and some love. Folks, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I've gotten three hours, four hours of sleep in two days. And I ain't complaining. But I am heading to Woodbury. And there is a special conquest and a mission, and, and y'all are gonna see me smiling more than I'm smiling now. But before I do that, I gotta find a campground where I can have some peace and quiet and damn good internet because I have over 10 hours of pictures and video to process and then upload for y'all. Yes. Bo is, when Woody carried me down through the wildlife areas and down into the freaking river bottoms of Tennessee, in the backwoods of nowhere where there's no signal and you smell moonshine in the air, I'm telling you folks, it's badass. There ain't no other photographers in the United States that got the opportunity that I just got and see the shit. Wait till y'all see the pictures I got. I'm blown away. But once I get over here in the Woodbury area, I'm gonna find me a place to veg and work on video. And then I need to sleep about 10 hours, okay? But 
this vlog is just gonna keep getting better and better. I know it is. What an awesome, awesome experience. Tennessee, Arkansas, Missouri, Missouri, I'm coming back, dude. Hey. Missouri gonna get a lot of good plays. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting back in the mountains again. I don't know, something about mountains. Uh, during the summertime, I want to be in the mountains. Tennessee green now. This smells good in this state. I don't know what it is about Texas, but Texas got, I don't know. I guess it's because of all the cow shit. I don't know. Maybe ever fall in full of shit. I don't know. All I know is Tennessee smells good. And I ain't sneezing my ass off. But I have had to take my allergy pills because there is something here in the air that triggers my allergies, but not cedar. I ain't seen hardly no cedar at all. I've only been driving a couple hours and I'm almost to Woodbury. And uh, I'm gonna find me a place to camp overnight. I gotta take a break and rest. I wanna work on videos and edit the pictures that I took last night with Woody. And uh, I wanna rest. I I'm even willing to find a KOA campground and pay for one night of camping so I can take a hot shower and shave and clean up. Okay, everybody's doing a brake check. 70 mile an hour down to 55. So, yep. No wonder everybody was brake checking. It Popo back here. He was running radar too. Yep. GPS signal lost. Uh oh, that means I ain't got no signal. I don't care. We're just going to Woodbury. We'll find it. I'm almost to Woodbury, ladies and gentlemen. And I gotta be honest, I sure like this area. Holy shit. This is not what I was expecting to see here, but I didn't really look up the geography of the place. I'm just going, man. I can't help it. Absolutely stunning. suck to live in a farmhouse with nothing but mountains in your back view. That's what I want to see. I want to get down in these slippy little nooks and hollers like down there where I was just at in Haywood County. I, I'm still just shocked at how much fun we crammed into 30 hours. It was non-stop. I'm, I'm so exhausted, folks. I gotta find a place to chill before I take up anything else today. 
this, so, well, time for me to watch the speed limit. I'll let y'all know. We're pretty damn close. Bluetooth disconnected. Look at all the flags, would you? They're ready for 4th of July. Woodbury got it going on now, folks. They seriously got it going on. Would you look at all these American flags? I'm loving this. Anybody that knows me knows I love the Stars and Stripes. And I totally disagree with anybody that makes anything else out of our American flag. When you desecrate the flag, in my opinion, you're pissing on the United States. Don't put no blue lines to it. Don't make it different colors. Don't have other meanings. Our Stars and Stripes got a serious meaning. People seem to overlook that shit. Look at this town, would you, ladies and gentlemen? This is Midtown. This is, this is it. Very drug center drive through. Wow, you can tell there's a lot of history in this town, folks. Hey, take breaks. No, what Jake breaks? That was just loud ass truck. Well, I'm here now. 
Isn't this something? Eight hundred feet, I'll arrive at my destination. Yes, ma'am. I am in Woodbury, Tennessee. There's something wrong with that deer. Wow, check that out. There's your county courthouse. And there's a McDonald's. I got peas, y'all. Well, I've done it again. I found myself deep in the back of Woodbury, Tennessee. Off in the mountains. Look at this. I'm just driving now. I turned off one street onto another street and I was looking for a park. I don't know if I'm in the right area, but I don't care. Look at this drive, y'all. City park down this road. I guess I'm gonna like it. This is uh, two miles away from the city park. On Parch Corn Road. Turn this camera back on a minute.